بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال ربي شرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري وهل الاقتر من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته My name is Zidane Hamid and I'm eight years old. And today is the ninth of Ramadan and hope your Ramadan is going healthy, wealthy and wise. And today we're going to do a short tafsir of Surah Al-Mudassir or Surah Al-Muzammil. You see, Surah Al-Mudassir and Surah Al-Muzammil are pair surahs. They both have the same meaning. Mudassir means cloak and Muzammil means cloth. So, you know, they're both same and cloak is a cloth. So, they both have the same meanings. And they start with the same, same, they also start in the same way. Just like Ya Yu Al Muzammil and it is Ya Yu Al Mudassir and then Kum Il Layla Illa Kalila Kum Fanzir. There's Kum. Kum. They, they start with Kum. Ya Yu Al Muzammil, Ya Yu Al Mudassir, then Kum Il Layla Illa Kalila Kum Fanzir. So, Surah Muzammil, like Surah Mudassir, Surah Kalam, Surah Fatiha, and Surah Alak have been the early five revelations. Surah Fatiha being the first whole Surah revealed, Surah Kalam, some verses of Surah Al Kalam, and some verses of Surah Al Alak, you know how much, and Surah Al Muzammil. It's some verses of Surah Al Muzammil, and some verses of Surah Al Mudassir. These are all the five revelations. So, Surah Al Muzammil, it is, you know, Makki. It's Makki Surah because it was one of the early, the early revelations. But, you know, according to a hadith, um, it is a hadith of Sahih Bukhari that the verse, the end verse, the longest verse, the longest verse in the Surah, the end, the end, the end verse, the twentieth verse, that verse was revealed in Medina. It was revealed 10 years later, you know, at least in the Hijra period. Or, yeah, after the Hijra, after the Hijra in, the, in, in Medina. It was revealed in Medina, the 20th, the 20th verse. You know why? We have proof for it too, because it tells about, you know, prayer. And, you know, it's one of the early revelations. So how could be prayer at that time? When it was one of the very early revelations. So the verse which talks about prayer, it was revealed 10 years later when prayer was there. When prayer was there, then that verse was revealed. Ya Ayyuhal Muzammil, Surah Muzammil and Surah Mudassir, those two surahs, they start with the same way. Like Ya Ayyuhal Mudassir, Ya Ayyuhal Muzammil. Then it starts again like, Kum fa'anzir. Kum il layla illa kalila. Kum il layla illa kalila. Just pray at the night. Pray in the night. And leave a little of the night. At least a quarter of the night. It might be a bit difficult. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the next verse. Nisfahu awin kusminhu kalila. Or half of it. Or a little bit smaller. أَوْزِذَ عَلَيْهِ وَرَتِّ لِلْقُرْعَانَ تَرْتِيلًا Or a bit more. And read the Qur'an in a soft tone, which should not be too high, which should not be too low, which should be moderate. And it should not be too fast, not too slow. A moderate tone, a normal tone. إِنَّا سَنُلْكِيَ عَلَيْكَ كَوْلًا سَكِيلًا Indeed, we have bestowed upon you. We have put upon you a heavy word and what is that heavy word it is said in surah al-mudassir you see that heavy word inna nashiyat al-layl hiya ashad wa ta'am wa aqa wa mukila indeed praying in the night is the best way to control somebody and it's the best time to pray because you know at the day a person is pressured he is pressured by problems. Inna laka fin nahari sabahan tabila. That's what it said in the next verse. Indeed, you are pressured in the day. In the day, people get pressured. They are under pressure. They have their own works. So that's why in the night, there is nobody to disturb. 
and the night is for the rab is for our lord and yes you know people have asked you to control their will they have to also control their will in the night just you know whenever somebody talks about the tahajjud prayer tahajjud prayer then the first question that comes in a person's mind is when will i get some sleep that's why and that's why in in the fajr azan is that as salatu khairum min an naum and controlling that's how that's how ramadan controls you physically spiritually psychologically and mentally if you control your legal wishes you can even you can even control your illegal wishes and the ninth verse is rabbul mashriqi wal maghribi la ilaha illa huwa fattahidu wakila he is the lord of the east and the west there is no god except him and take him as your protector that links to the next verse take him as your protector at that time there were not so many people believing in the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they used to they used to mock at him that's why in the next verse it said wasbir ala ma yaquluna wahjur wahjurhum hajaran jamila be patient over what they say be patient over what they say just like you see and leave them in a polite manner and just like it said in surah al qasr when you hear somebody doing vain talk somebody who doesn't accept the truth just say salamun alaikum peace be upon you wala nabtaghil jahilin and i don't talk to the ignorant people wazarni wal mukazzibin ul naamati wa mahilhum kareem wa mahilhum kalila and leave them alone leave them alone just like it said in surah al mudassir zarni wa man halaktu wahida you know most would have said that be patient and leave them to your rab just like it said in surah al ghashiya lasta alaihim bi musaitir and it said illa man tawalla wa kafar sa yu'adhibu allahu azab al akbar it said in surah al ghashiya and it just said over here too inna ladaina kalam wa jahima indeed we have prepared we have prepared chains chains and hellfire the blazing hellfire what aman za gussati and a food that chokes wa adab an alima and a painful torment a painful torment in a food that chokes it said that leave them alone leave them alone leave that to your rab it tells surah al ghashiya just like it says indeed it's our responsibility to give them a punishment it's our responsibility on them is our account then it said yawma taljuful ard wal jibalu kanat al jibalu kasiban mahila that day the earth and the mountains will be you know just the day when the earth will be leveled pounded and crushed and the mountains will turn into nothing but you know dust dust they will turn into nothing but dust like dust is poured out of a bag just like if dust are poured out of a bag it will be like this and it said to the people who didn't believe in muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam inna arsalna alaykum rasulan shahidan alaykum indeed we have sent upon you a messenger and not just any messenger a truthful messenger kama arsalna ila firaun rasula just like we send just like we send it towards firaun a messenger musa alaihi salam was sent it to firaun فعصى فرعون الرسول فاخذناه اخذا وبيلا دل فرعون هي دينايد هي تيرن هيز باك ذس لايك ات ان سوريا الناديات فقال انا ربكم العلا يعني سيد ذات اي ام يور اي ام انا ربكم العلا دل ات سيد ان ات جست سيد ليتر اون ذات يس ات ات سيد ليتر اون ذات فاخذ الله نكال الاخره والاولى and allah sees them a punishment for the for in the in this life in the worldly life and in the hereafter will be given a punishment and you know it just said like this you know fa kayfa tattaquna in kafartum yawmay yajalul mildan shiba so when can you get away with this will you get away with this on the day of judgment when people's head will be gray and bald will you get away 
On that day, will you get away with this? It's challenging the disbeliever. They will be destroyed. Surah Mursalat, Alam Luhli Kila Wali, Surah Haqqa, Kazabat Samudu wa Adun Bil Kariya, Fama Samudu wa Ahuluku Bil Tariya. Surah Al Fajr, it said how Ad was destroyed and what happened to Firaun. And it said to Inna Rabba Kalabil Mirsod, indeed your, indeed your Rabb is watching you. Then, after that in Surah Mazamil it said, As-Samaamun Fatirum Bi. The heaven will be cleft asunder, cleft asunder. The heaven will be cleft asunder, split it up. What is bound to happen is going to happen. What is promised will happen just like I said in Surah Al-Mushalat. Indeed, what is to happen? What you are promised, it's going to happen. And it said too, in Surah Al-Kalam. And then, you know, it's challenging the disbelievers. Can you get away with this? And that time, they were saying to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi that he was a madman. So, in Surah Kalam, they are being challenged. And you will see, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi he is being addressed. You will see and they will see. Who is afflicted with madness? Who is the real madman? And that day, the people who disbelieve, their faces will be black. It said in Surah Mulku, it will be Sayyat Wujuh al Kafar. And it said, Wahil Hadh al Ladina Kuntum bihi to Gazib. And it will be said that this is, this is what you will be. This was what? This was what you were promised. This was what you were denying. And it said in Surah Al Mulk after that, that they used to be stingy and they used to say, Oh Muhammad, when is this, when is this time going to come? When is the day of judgment is going to come? Tell us if you are a true prophet. They used to challenge them. And then after this it said, See at wujuhu al-ladhina kafru, wa kila hadha al-ladhina kuntum bihi tukazibu. After this in Surah Al-Mazamil it said, Inna hadhi tazkira. Indeed, this is a revelation. Indeed, this is a reminder. Just like it said in the end of Surah Al-Kalam. And it is a reminder to the whole world. Just like I said in Surah Mursalat. So, you see, it said over here too, in Hadi Tazkira. Just like it said in Surah Al-Insan, Surah Al-Dahar. Now, this is the 20th verse, and this is the longest verse in Surah Al-Mazamir. It's a long verse. So, it starts with. Inna Rabbaka ya'alamu anna ka tukumu adna min sulusayi al-layli wa nisfahu wa sulusahu wa ta'ifatum min al-lazina ma'ak. Wallahu yukaddiru al-layla wa al-nahar. Indeed your Rabb knows, indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that you pray two-third of the night or half of the night or a third of the night. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Wallahu yukaddiru al-layla wa al-nahar. He controls the day and the night. And it's said in the Quran that Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he merges the day into night and he merges the night into day. That's what is being referred over here. That he has control of night and day. Ali ma'allan tuhsu, fatawa alaykum, fakrahu ba tayyassara mila al-Quran. It says over here, just like it said in Surah Al-Baqarah, Yuridu Allahu bikumul. Yusra, wala yuridu Allahu bikumul usra. He did. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He wants for you ease. He doesn't want for you hardship. Or here it's ease. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that it might be a bit hard for you. So He decided that recite as much as you want. Recite the Quran as much as, as, much as, you, as, much as you want. But recite it in waratil al Quran tartila. Recite it like that. But recite much as you want, but recite it like that. Uh, you know, a proper, a moderate tone. And this was this was revealed in Medina after you know, after Makkah when it was in after Hijra. Ali man sayakuna min sayakuna min kum marda wa aharuna yazribuna filadi yabtaguna min fadilai wa aharuna yukatiluna fi sabliyallah. And 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that some of you are sick while some are traveling in the land, while some are fighting in the way of Allah. And just like it said in Surah Baqarah, that, you know, it just said about Ramadan, you know, that the person who is sick or is traveling, he can fast later on, he can fast later on. And after this it said, يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَى وَلَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرَى this is said after that, you know, it's telling that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants ease for you. He doesn't want hardship for you. So you see what a great thing, what a great, you know, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us. So some people think that, oh, it's too hard for me. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that, no, he wants ease for you. And he doesn't want hardship for you. And it's said again. Recite as much as you like. And you know, it should, you should read like this. And pray salah and do zakah. And lend a goodly loan. And what do I mean by goodly loan? A loan which has no interest, which has no riba. Now see, like riba, let me give you an example. A person, 50 years ago, he buys a house for $50,000. $50,000. So he mortgages, mortgages, you know, mortgages, you know, mortgages, they always have interest. Sometimes in the inside, sometimes in the outside. So this person has interest because he mortgages it for $1,000. Now this guy comes in about 30 years later and he buys it by credit, credit cards, you know, credit cards, debit cards. Now he buys it by that. Now when it comes his time to mortgage it, at least one year later, then he mortgages it for $400,000, $400,000. And then, you know, a person comes and says, oh, how can I buy uh, this house of $400,000? So interest is basically making things harder for people. So Surah al muzammil it also gives us a very good lesson. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us the people who have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who do righteous deeds, who go on the way of truth and patience, and who call people on the way of truth and patience. Tomorrow we'll do Sure al jinn and Sure al jinn will be done in two parts. So until then, Jazakallah khairan wa asnallahu alaykum. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.